I want to do something real quick. I'm going to read three quotes. I'm not going to say who they're from. And I'd like you all to tell me whether you think it's a friend or foe of freedom and liberty or of the abortion access movement. So here's one. Quote, we have to understand that the threats to freedom are not simply a result of what happens in legislatures. you got to fight to win. What do you think, friend or foe? Friend? Okay. It's Governor Ron DeSantis. <laughs> let, me do, let me do another one. Let me do another one. <laughs> Quote, in America, we believe in the majesty of freedom and the dignity of the individual. Friend or foe? Foe? Oh, you're catching on. That's former President Donald J. Trump. The dignity of the individual. Here's my last one. Quote, we can either have a free society or we can have a biomedical security state. People are going to be free to choose and make their own decisions for themselves and their families. Friend or foe? Foe? Another Ron DeSantis quote. <laughs> See, right-wing leader, leaders in this state love to preach freedom, liberty, patriotism, and then they never back it up with action. You know, oftentimes we see leaders co-opt certain language and um, for political purposes, language or movements or culture. Um, we see it all the time. I mean, what I like to point to is how the right wing has um, acts like they own Christianity um, and acts like they own the Bible. You know, I, I was raised Southern Baptist. Um, and so I can't say enough of how frustrating it's been to see folks weaponize my religion and my faith to push a restrictive right-wing agenda. So there's a lot of talk about freedom there from two prominent uh, Floridians, right-wing Floridians. Ms. Dorbert, in the moments where you were with your doctor here in the state of Florida and you were receiving the information that you got, did you feel that freedom? No. Did you feel that liberty? No. If we go back five, six years ago, did you ever think something like this would be possible in this country or in this state? What happened to you? No. Why? Because I felt free. Hmm. You know, not only do they co-opt freedom and patriotism and, and liberty, but they also, also co-opt other things as well. Ms. Timaraju, you are an, an, an organizer. You've been doing this work for a long time. Do you hate adoption? Do I get adoption? Do you hate adoption? My children are adopted. Oh, your children are adopted. <laughs> yeah, actually, well, because I those suffered on the from right endometriosis. Us, you, sorry, go ahead. I suffered from endometriosis and I adopted my children. Well, well, folks would have us believe that people like you and I hate adoption. Um, I'm adopted. That's right. Myself. And I despise the fact that my identity and my story, and same thing with yours, is used by the right wing to try to restrict people's rights. Why do you think the right wing uses adoption? a lot of times to help push this anti-freedom agenda. Well, it fits into their, you know, theological power and control, you know, goals. But I'll say one thing, and I think you'll appreciate this about adoption. You know, before I adopted my children, I spoke to many adult adoptees. I wanted to understand their perspe perspective on reproductive freedom and on abortion access, because I knew what I did. Across the board, every single adoptee, adult adoptee, I said, said, I wish my birth parents had the freedom to decide. Across the board. Um, adoptees have been co-opted by this movement. The adoption narrative has been co-opted. Adoption is traumatic. It is not the silver bullet solution, despite what Supreme Court Justice Amy Coney Barrett asserted in the Dobbs mm -hmm. discourse. It is not a solution to a lack of abortion access. Thank you so much. You know, I, yes. <clears throat> I never knew my biological parents my whole life. I connected my biological mother um, a few months before deciding to run for office, so just about two and a half years ago. And when I was talking to her about the story and why, why um, she made the decision she made and what was sacred about it, what I got from that conversation is what was sacred about it wasn't just about the decision that she made, but about the fact that she got to make it. And so freedom, liberty, and patriotism isn't just about bald eagle, beer, and flag. It's about the people who live in the country. And um, so we'll continue to fight for bodily autonomy for all people here in the state of Florida and across the country. Thank you so much for our witnesses. Thank you.